and plead the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth over our communication minds, body, spirits, and our hearts. Plead in the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth over our communication minds, body, spirits, and our hearts. As well as this video and everyone watching. With the key of David and by the sound of my voice, I prophesy healing and restoration over those watching this video. With the key of David and by the sound of my voice, I prophesy all watching this video coming to know and find the son of true humanity within the child of true humanity within you. With the key of David and by the sound of my voice, I prophesy all watching this video coming to accept the gospel of the kingdom within with an open heart and mind in Jesus Christ of Nazareth holy name and blood the gospel of Mary Magdala Jesus and the first woman apostle chapter 10 the Jesus tradition continued except in the gospel of John all examples of the commissioning are part of the farewell farewell message of Jesus to his disciples after the resurrection but before his final departure in Matthew, the preaching of the gospel is meant to fill the time before the end. In Luke, it signals the beginning of the age of the spirit filled church. In John, no specific commissioning is reported. Although references to bearing fruit and being sent into the world are mentioned in Jesus farewell discourse. The Gospel of Mary also sets the commissioning in Jesus' final words, but the Gospel does not end with his departure. Instead, the Savior's admission to preach the Gospel becomes the central topic of discussion amongst the disciples. As we explored in more detail in chapter 9 above, the entire second half of the Gospel of Mary is taken up with exploring the question of who is able to meet the demands of apostleship and preach the Gospel in truth. As Anne Pasquire has pointed out, the order of Jesus' farewell speech in the Gospel of Mary indicates a distinctive theological perspective. First, Jesus cautions the disciples to guard themselves against error. Then he affirms the presence of the child of true humanity within them. And only then does he commission them to go preach the gospel. This order, Pasquire notes, is the reverse of the gospel of Matthew, where the Savior first says that the gospel of the kingdom within will be preached to all nations. Matthew chapter 24 verse 14. Then he warns the disciples to guard against error. Matthew chapter 24 verses 23 through 26 and finally he assures them of the coming of the son of man Matthew chapter 24 verse 27 the effect in Matthew is to see the preaching of the gospel as a precaution for the coming of the son of man and the last judgment in the gospel of Mary however the presence of the son of man within is the basis which means base or beginning, is the basis for preaching the kingdom. The gospel of Mary's sequence completely undercuts the apostolic message of Matthew and replaces it with the call to discover and preach the gospel of the realm of the child of true humanity. Readers who compare the two works will perceive conflicting pictures of Jesus' teachings. The Gospel of Mary also provides an answer to the question of who can preach the Gospel that differs. To differ means to be unalike. That differs from the other Gospels' accounts. The response of the disciples 
to the departure of the risen Jesus contrasts sharply with that represented in parallel scenes in John, Luke, or Mark. Excuse me. In John, Mary speaks first. The male disciples are afraid, and then Jesus comes. It's Matthew chapter 20, verses 18 through 19. The reverse order found in the Gospel of Mary highlights the way in which Mary assumes the Savior's role in bringing comfort and instruction after his departure. In Luke, the disciples are filled with joy after Jesus departs. Matthew chapter 24, verses 52 through 53. In Mark, they immediately go forth and preach the gospel. 1620 in John, it is Jesus who comforts the disciples before his death. In the Gospel of Mary, however, after Jesus' departure, all the disciples except Mary Magdalene are distressed and weeping. Behavior more like the reaction of the disciples at Jesus' arrest. Mark chapter 14, verse 50, or during trial. Mark 14, 66 through 72, in particular, they fear for their lives. If they did not spare him, how would they spare us? That's the Gospel of Mary, chapter 5, verse 3. Of course, the disciples' fear for their lives was a real and immediate issue widely addressed in early Christian literature, usually within the context of persecution. But in other narratives, Jesus has already offered encouragement and comfort before his departure, and his disciples go forth with joy and confidence. In Acts, for example, the disciples are portrayed as fearless in their preaching, or again, the other gospels place Peter's hot-headed behavior in triple denial before the resurrection, while in the Gospel of Mary, he continues to behave this way even after Jesus departs. Matthew chapter 10, verse 28, again, do not be afraid of he who kills the body, but rather fear him who is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Our soul is eternal. Our soul goes back to God. And he decides whether that soul goes to heaven or hell. The reader of the gospel of Mary has to wonder what kind of gospel such disciples will preach. Their doubt and fear show they have failed to acquire inward peace. That inward peace comes from Jesus Christ himself. We have to let Jesus Christ go within. You cannot be afraid to go within because Satan has taken what belongs to the Most High God and twisted it so that you will stay away from it. It's only evil when you try to go inside without God, our Creator. According to Revelation 5, Verses 1 through 5, only Jesus Christ, the root of David, is worthy to open the seals and loose the seals thereof. Those seals are our seven energy centers, also known as our chakras. If our chakras are imbalanced, we are imbalanced. We're all off. We're out of whack. And we have no peace within the body. So we must seek Jesus Christ so that we could let him go in and do the work that he needs to do to heal us internally. Their doubt and fear show they have failed to acquire inward peace. How can they preach the gospel if they do not understand it? They think that following the Savior will lead them to suffering, as Mark chapter 13, verses 9 through 13 insist that it will. But in the Gospel of Mary, their fear only demonstrates that they have not fully comprehended Jesus', Jesus teaching. Since attachment to the body is the source of suffering and death, that's the Gospel of Mary, chapter 3, verses 7 through 11, separation from that attachment frees them. There's no promise of or desire for a physical resurrection. The conclusion of the Gospel of Mary leaves the reader with little confidence that these disciples, especially Peter and Andrew, 
will be able to preach the gospel of the realm. And since, as we have noted, the gospel of Mary questions the validity of apostolic success session and authority. It is little wonder that later Orthodox theologians who founded their own authority upon apostolic reliability would decry the gospel of Mary as heresy. Irenaeus, for example, excoriated, which, mean, which means to censor or criticize severely, excoriated those who criticize the apostles, for it is unlawful to assert that they preach before they possess perfect knowledge. And as some do even venture to say, boasting themselves as improvers of the apostles, but Arrhenius was only one man. Other Christians may have thought differently dismayed by the ever-increasing division expressed in theological polemics and distressed by new laws that function only to condemn the views of other Christians. So how could they go out and preach if Jesus did not give them the laws or give them what they needed to preach. And that was the kingdom within. So that is all for today loves. I love you all. I will pick you up in the next video. I will leave the link to I am Queen Esther. At Beloved Grace Ministries. The Bible and the Body playlist. In my comment section. I love you all. Most importantly Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Loves you. And peace be with you.